That's my phone, which is also essential, but not one of the top 10. What's up, GQ? This is Jonathan Majors, and these are my 10 essentials. First, we're going to start with this guy. I know what you're thinking. It's just a beanie. Correct. It's just a beanie. In fact, I bought this beanie on the side of the road in Harlem on 125th Street. It's red, which is my favorite color. And you can do this with this beanie. And be seen by everybody. When you're on your bike in New York City, speeding down the road, trying not to die, I'm your man in the red beanie. And they say, okay, that's Jay. I got you. Pocket knife. It's actually a Shinola pocket knife. And it is the first pocket knife I bought myself as an adult male. It's not to be tough or anything. It's actually just to open up uh, anything. You know, you open up your FedEx boxes, open up your daughter's candy. Let me just say this once and for all. You do not ask someone to borrow their pocket knife. It's kind of like if you smoke, you should have your own lighter. You didn't need the pocket knife until you saw I had the pocket knife. Get yourself a pocket knife, friend. Respectfully. Mountain Valley Spring Water. What can I, what? It's water from heaven. Room temp, I've been told, is the way it should be, but I grew up in Texas and uh, hot day, cold water. That just makes sense to me. I don't understand the science of it. Uh, apparently it's bad for you, but I lived in that state for 18 years and made it out just fine. So, you know, it's an elixir for help. Yeah. <laughs> this was made by an artisan. Somebody sat down and with their mind and energy and focus crafted this particular cup. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but it's it's actually not even at all. And I wanted to go with this one because it had the most personality. It had the most imperfections. It just became a thing for me to always have my own vessel uh, to kind of move through the world with. And this is made of a particular clay that actually holds the taste and the smell and the essence of the beverage you had last. And I just find it neat. And it's kind of a, a comfort thing, you know? Okay, let's see. I had matcha tea this morning, and then I didn't actually, but let's just go with it, right? Actually, no, let's do it. Like, oh no, last thing in here was matcha tea. This Revolve Plus, Bose speaker. I, <sighs> if there was one essential, I love the hat, love the cup, need the knife. But this Bose speaker, can you curse on here? Cause this motherfucker right here, this right here is the day to day, save you, change your mood, get you ready, get you undone concoction. This thing is incredible. And I'm proud of this one because it actually has dirt on it from a field that me and my partners uh, work out in. Does it have a handle? Girl, yes, it has a handle. You use the handle to hang it in your shower, right? Because it's waterproof. These should be given to the military. Here's an essential for you. Warrior of the Light, a manual by Paolo Kahlo. There's like a subtitle, short notes on accepting failure, embracing life, and rising to your destiny. I mean, this book is also uh, torn to shit. This book has seen many countries and um, looks like many raspberries. It's a secular teaching, you know, with spiritual accents. I also hand it out to people, take a picture of a passage and send it off to a buddy or a friend or a student of mine and uh, say, hey, check this out. Watch this. This is at random. Okay, I'll just read you any passage. This is the first teaching of the nights. You will erase everything you had written in the book of your life up until now. Restlessness, uncertainty, lies. And in the place 
of all this, you will write the word courage by beginning the journey with that word and continuing with faith in God, you will arrive wherever you need to arrive. That's at random. P.S. My favorite word of all time in any language is courage. I won't keep it on for long, but that's a red note. All right. Now, the reason I took it off so quickly is that there's rules to this nose. This nose in particular comes from a magician and he teaches clown. Is something that you get from him after a certain amount of semesters of training. It also represents the most amount of freedom I've ever experienced in my life. My understanding and my belief is that the clown is connected to the most innocent part of us. And that innocent part of us is a unsocialized body. I've had this for five years and have missed flights behind it. Have gotten to the airport, checked my bag and been like, nope, we gotta go back. Literally, we have to go back. You sure, sir? Don't fuck with me. We're going back and we're gonna get this notes. JMM sunglasses. These sunglasses are, in my opinion, the most dope um, sunglasses I've ever experienced. Each pair of glasses is designed and inspired by essentially icons. So for instance, these at random, uh, Sturgis. Sturgis developed a reputation for a lifetime of contribution in an edgy update of spectacles worn by acclaimed director, John Sturgis known for directing psychological westerns and war films like The Magnificent Seven and The Great Escape. Come on, okay, also, these are numbers 70 of 450. I, I have become hooked. And uh, here's another pair. Yep, you know, it's a piece of art. Very much like uh, the aforementioned cup. It has value in ways that aren't monetary, and I appreciate that. And then, then I check the specs, where they made blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's great. And it holds up. The next item, these jeans here. Quite simple. They're uh, Louis Vuitton. And you wouldn't guess it. You wouldn't guess it. These are just good old cowboy jeans. And I keep them cuffed um, like a good Texan. I keep them on my waist uh, like my mama taught me. And they are the most comfortable, most versatile I've owned, I think. Here's the thing, I don't wash them, ever. You know, they're jeans. If you want to dress up, dress up. They're, they're, they're made to be rough housed and, and all those things. The best compliment you can get in your jeans are, oh, your legs are good today. Or, oh, uh, nice shoes. That's a good one. Oh, nice shoes, which means everything you got going on has brought their attention to your boot game or to whatever shoes you wear. We'll talk about that in a second because I have a pair there that I wear quite often. These are my tennis. These are my tennis shoes. No shame. These were given to me and I have not taken them off since. I grew up in Converse, Reeboks, Payless, and the plethora of the Payless genre, which I thank you very much for getting me through elementary school and junior high school. But then I got these. And what I liked about these the most is that they came kind of pre, pre-scuffed. They have proper creases. Um, they have the shoo. Everybody knows what I mean when I go the shoo, which means tied or untied. You can just shoo, and you're good to go. Don't act like you don't know what I mean. If you don't know what I mean, you need better shoes. Here it is. Dr. Dennis Gross, Alpha Beta, Extra Strength, Daily Peel. Now, we're just gonna demonstrate. I don't, I don't know any other way to do it. So it's quite simple. You take them out, uh, you do it. So you just wipe, right? It's an exfoliant. It exfoliates. Exfoliate, exfoliate. What's that mean, G? What it means is it begins to turn over the dead cells on your skin because the dead skin clogs the pores, allows oil to build up. You know what's not gangster? 
pimples. You see that? You, maybe you can't, right? But that's real. The second one is an anti-aging neutralizer. I don't know what the f that means, anti-aging neutralizer, but I do know what it does, and uh, I highly recommend it. You just hit it again a second time. You can hit your lips. You can go. You can get in your beard, whatever beard. We're done. We've done it. I did it. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. These are my ten essentials. Peace.